my name is Will Hatcher. I'm a stand-up comedian, author, and uh, founder of Delicious Bathwater. Yeah. You know, I, I really define achievement just achieving, or I, was, I, I said achievement, and, and uh, just doing something that you set out to do. You know, whether it, it doesn't necessarily have to be really big or small, but like if you just say, you know, hey, I'm going to drink that water, you know, that's my goal today is drink to drink water, and you did that. I think that's an achievement, you know, so some achievements can be big or small, you know, it's kind of relative to the person. My mother's Jamaican, my father's a regular black, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, um, went to, grew up in Delray Beach, um, went to school in Miami, FIU, uh, dropped out to pursue stand-up because I was just like, I was, my senior year, I was just like, I don't want to do this. Like, I was studying marketing, and I was just like, you know, just looking at all the, one, one, one big reason was uh, myself and uh, Martin Zuckerberg were like the same age. I was like, he's already a billionaire, and I'm taking classes, so I was just like, you know, um, I just saw that, you know, it wasn't, I just believed in myself, you know, and I was just like, I don't really need, like, education's good, not anything's bad with it, but like, the route that I wanted to go with stand-up, I was like, I don't really need these classes, you know, to do yeah. that. So I was like, the, the sooner I could start just kind of dedicating myself to this craft, then the better. So, you know, my parents were like, they they gave me and my sister like a lot of freedom um, as kids. It was just, it was kind of like, you know, it was, they set really high goals for us. You know, like they, my mom would always tell me and my sister that we were really smart. So that kind of just got drilled into our brains. Um, but it, I don't think we had any like necessarily like expectations. It was just like just make something of yourself, you know, that's positive and stuff. So because like my mom, she came from Jamaica, you know, like she was the only person, like one of our family that came from Jamaica. So like everybody else was like still Jamaican, and my dad was like the only one from his family that you know was at the time, you know, like really successful. So having those two like role models is like you know two separate, you know, they're two separate people from different parts of the world that both kind of like made it out of their family, you know, that they're the success of their families. Like it was, for me and my sister, it was just like, you know, you got to at least try to surpass them, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think they, not I think, I don't think they ever gave us like, like a told us like you have to be X, Y, and Z, you know, it was just, um, my dad is just like, just, just get a job, you know, just get, and then my mom is, um, you know, just, I guess she's more of an artsy type. So she just, She's just, just be happy, you know. What did you want to be when you were a kid? <sighs> Batman. That's, <laughs> that, Duh. That's, uh, yeah, Batman. Um, just some type <laughs> of superhero. I think that's what the whole like make your brain twerk thing is. Like, I love like Professor X, and um, I love Batman just because he was so smart, you know. And um, just started like when I left college, like I started reading books just about like the mind and. Uh, personal development and stuff and it was just like and then I started like meditating I started seeing like the benefits of like of meditating and how you can like change your life or you know like watching these monks in Tibet where you know they would you know uh, put spears on their necks and stuff and, and they could break spears like it was just crazy like the power that them and I was like how I want to do that you know so um, so that kind of just got me into, I guess, uh, realizing that maybe I could be a superhero, you know, in my own, in well, my own way, yeah. So, and more comedy, I mean, I think with comedy, I feel like a superhero, like, making, because I look at, like, stand-up, the way I, I look at it is just, like, me making people laugh, I feel like, is, is healing, you know, and that's my own way to kind of get back to the world or, or heal the world, you know. I follow my intuition, you know, so, like, um... In 2009, like I moved to San Francisco, and it was just I went there for like a month, and I just came home, packed my bags, and like just moved out. I didn't know anybody, you know. I just moved out there, so like now I'm kind of getting this like this itch to like go to like New York or like Chicago, probably New York though, because it's just something's telling me like to. I'm having dreams about it, like so I'm like yeah, I should probably be there. While I was growing up, I spent a lot of time in in Delray, and I spent all my summers in Georgia, so. Um, in the part of Georgia, I was, it's called Cairo, Georgia, which is like super small. Like the the highlight of the town is like Walmart. They have a super Walmart, and like that's 
that's is, is that's Disney World to <laughs> people in, in Cairo. So um, I think it just you know it just it makes you real like humble you know because you don't you don't need a lot you know. Um, it wasn't until I, I moved to like a big city I was like oh wow you know um, you, you kind of see I mean, obviously there's more opportunities in a big city but like if I lived in a big city and then went to like uh, the south or like a small city it probably I probably went crazy because I've been you know exposed to so much. So I, I guess it has like its, its benefits and its drawbacks. Um, I always, I always look at I guess my greatest achievement is whatever I do next and stuff. Like I don't really look at, you know, I, I was telling one of my friends this other day, man, and, and I mean I've done a lot of cool things and a lot of experiences where I had a lot of experiences or success that a, a lot of people would. I don't, I don't want to say die for it because that's I, I don't know if you would die, but yeah, but they would just they would just say I mean that's really cool or you know I wish I did that but you know I, I really don't I don't look at it like that like I just I just honestly I just I sometimes feel like the Joker when he said like I just like to do things you know and I just I just do things I mean I'm proud of my book that I just wrote um, um, I think like after this TED talk like this will probably be my greatest like it's always just like the next thing I'm like okay this is I'm happy about that and then I'm happy for a moment and then it's just like okay what's the next thing that I could do so what I realized about happiness happiness is really just kind of a state that you're in you know um, you can snap yourself out of like if you're feeling like it's, it's really just like these circumstances happen and it's really just about how you kind of respond to it you know so if you're feeling Unhappy. I just find things to be really grateful for, you know, and I think that's that's what keeps me really happy. Um, what are you grateful for? Uh, everything. Um, living. Uh, you know, being in America. Uh, I'm not a slave. I could have been a slave. Uh, happy for my family. I'm grateful for my family. Um, my friends. Uh, people like like this, like you guys. That's. Um, they just, they, I feel, they just breathe like air, clean water. You know, like people don't have clean water in the world. So like, there's always something. Like if I get in in a, in a state, and, and you know, I'm human. So like, obviously, you know, I can, I, I I get sad or you know, or or I'm not like, like super happy all the time. But like, I I can bring myself back just like looking around and be like, wow, you know, there's a lot of things that I could be grateful for. You know, like I have clothes, I. Um, I have skin, like, you know, there, there's a lot that, to, just to be happy for, that I'm alive, you know, like, that's, that's right there, you know, that you're living, because you could have been, you could be dead, you know, so.